At the end of the 10th century, the Mari people founded the fortress of Kukarka on the river Vyatka in the land of their ancient forefathers. It was from this stronghold that the chieftain Chumbilat reigned, a figure much loved and respected by the people. After his death, he was buried at the foot of the mountain and declared to be a god. Still today, people come to pray so that the mountain god might protect them from their bloodthirsty enemies and that so that he will bring peace and blessings to the people. It is said that this holy mountain, which reaches into the very heavens, is the dwelling place of the king of the gods, Kugo Jumo. Kodo Our people's ancient nature religion has not died out and is still practiced even today. The priests or elders of our religion, who carry out rituals in the holy places, are called carts. They could also be considered to be wise men or sages. The pagan cart priests, the head of whom is Alexei Yakimov, unite Mari society. <laughs> Just a fast, we're not... 
The Mari calendar begins with the pagan winter festival of Ramfut, in the Mari language, Shorikyol. The origin of the name has two possible roots. One suggestion is that the old astrological cycle at the end of the year is Shor, which means foam or mud. And the beginning of the new cycle is Yol, which means foot. A second suggestion is a rather more attractive explanation. On New Year's Eve, according to an old custom, the virgins of the village, blindfolded, would have to try to catch a sheep in a dark barn. If a girl caught a white sheep, then she would marry a white-blooded man. If a black sheep, then she would marry a dark man. People would gather on winter evenings, drinking and eating, and on New Year's Eve, would predict who the future spouses of the village youth would be. The belt is an essential part of the Māori national dress, and it has a sacred meaning as well. It's often used for fortune-telling in folk games. Travelers come to the people with the Vasli elder in front. This man will play a Santa Claus character at the Mari party evening. The Vasli is greeted by the father and mother of the family. Afterwards, the Vasli must check over the whole house and say some words about preparations for the new year. Ой, вы не 
Вара руш, жерка пайрем наш, жерка пайрем на росто пайрем это леш, манаж росто ман, вара юмишком ман пайрем едет на стика, вот это эрла леш, да, треш вара не то леш юарня пайрем, если конга паре был, ну тут тоже молан ман на конга паре, думаю на кто ж ке трех сотый ман на конга паре мула, то же сед юарня паре то леш, юарня паре леш тут ратакат, шке шот шедене, ойрте малши ешак, тут уже щал Ай, ман на теле жапан, рудеш, тоже февраль слеш, на марс слеш, туда дака весь твой шан. The time of Ivan the Terrible heralded a most violent Christianizing of the Mari tribes. Although the savage conquerors had forced the people to surrender, they were still all baptized into the faith. Some of the Mari tribes were saved from this and escaped to their neighbors in the east. Nowadays, we can observe features in the Mari region of this double religion, the ancient nature religion alongside Russian Orthodox Christianity. Many Mari people go to both the sacred places of the old religion and Orthodox churches. Religious festivals are frequently a mixture of pagan and Christian practices. In Kuchikingyer village, even Russian Christmas celebrations have their own particular character. <laughs> Пешу кога апсенден и јас кон тема ден, јакуш апсен кога ден, умаш млада, онс не кога дома ти пием и кајнам, скинам дјерске, почнам, почнам, мене се роси кој се почнул на дјолда сам тене прла бакам и тушко и што лаш прелектнул на, тоа калкам лечи да, јас си таа мога чере толун. Тој би ја штитил летат и чела черет терлана. И ми нан би ти се ло, значи корок светој. И тој би ја што коштот притен ми нан кунем се кала. Мале им кем, ти мале им кој е? Лете се значи ос ипан старик и оля. Унука ми е оля. И тој уро ти ди пијам што не накрет ман, ти ди пијам ма е стар, ма е шке посеб ма е шула. Са не не молим, ма е што не мол, и јал јал калак што не мол, ти ди куши нак посеб нут стар. А да порза ти е тоа. Таштеве, укиш, укиш ти не, мале, јула посеш, кумал што го на, ергодам, ер, ер кнелен, шири намушка, шкен сам, сај на салена, јун бештен, кине перкедене, шигуд перкедене, ја ти смеш корпа, пура соркатен меш, кумал што го на, алавен, умлен, јум на не иваш посеш што, да скалек тректора, ти смеш што лат пушет ти. A busy day arrives. The village sage, Alexei, together with all his close assistants, carries the chosen sacrificial animals of a bull calf and a sheep to the holy mountain. The most important ritual of the year is about to happen. We call our nature religion Chimari, which means people of the sun. Every four years, we gather at the foot of the mountain of Chumbilat, by the Vyatka River, to pray to the mountain ancestors. This is a wonderful event which unites the people and regions of Mari El. <laughs>
Our holy rites are performed on only three days of the week. These are Monday, Friday and Sunday. But one may also worship at the time of the new moon or full moon. We have nine important gods altogether, and each of them has an attendant. A complicated hierarchical system grants each of them different specific sacrificial animals or birds. The introductory part of the ritual is carried out by only a dedicated few. A large crowd no longer gathers. For this, three fire offerings are lit for the gods. The Earth God, Universe God and the Tribal Mother Goddess. A smoking stick of incense purifies the holy place and wards off any lingering evil spirits. The cart priest asks for pardon from the sacrificial animals. The animals are purified in the same way by circling their necks three times with an incense stick. A bull calf is brought as a sacrifice to the earth god and the universe god and a sheep to the tribal mother goddess. Still remaining is the ritual sanctifying of the animals. For this, spring water is poured on them and they are whipped on the back with a spruce switch, starting from the head. The cart priest waits for the animal to shake, which is a sure sign that the victim's soul has been accepted by the gods. In the foothills of the mountain are three singled out trees, which represent the three main gods. Under the trees, wicker tables are made, which are covered with spruce branches. Bonfires are lit in appropriate places right by these trees. At midday, the remaining people arrive at the sacred place. 
families and village dwellers come to pray in the foothills of the holy mountain. The day before, they will have been to the sauna in order to arrive in a pure, cleansed state. As they come from their homes, wax candles are lit and food is brought wrapped up in shawls. Mare kumaltas, si mare veran, kudi zaman, yes kumaltas, vara yal kumaltas, vara sirem kumaltas, mer kumaltas les, tisht kumaltas les, i tunya kumaltas. Moga nu ni oyer temas, yes kumaltas, sela tingslan ni maldes yes, yes ho kumal, yal kumal sato les li, tisht kumal sato les li. Vet ra ozno kumal ilenut rodovoy semenet, tisht malda, rodovoy ste. Kazne tu kumas ke tu kumze kisote zli. Kisotas kumalan tu ilen bud. Pervi ati nuna angavare kumal samstena, to za angavare kumal samstena to za angavare kumal tas ti sosa baga sa zapaste ertaldis. Ti zapaste angavare. Angavare erta i vod semi erta vara jun teles teles ti zanas ja kumal samstena. Vod ja kumal tas. Tu do ik ja teltes ik jumulan kumales. No kok jumulan les matlan kuru kuzanje matlan ili vara vitonlan i vita valan poaltes pa tu sto kengesem virkoles. The Tsars had already tried to purge the land of Mari of its pagan beliefs, on the advice of and with the blessing of the Orthodox Church. When this was not successful, the people were driven from the ancient Mari land and the border was moved so that the Holy Mountain was no longer part of Mari territory. When even this didn't work, they tried to destroy the mountain with explosives. Even today, one can see big boulders scattered at the foot of the mountain. So in this way, we ourselves continue to worship our gods, and we believe that the flames of our bonfires and holy sacrifices carry our people's wishes to the chief god, Kugul Yumo. We believe that he will protect and hold us from age to age, just as he protected our ancestors in the Dark Ages. Despite their merciless treatment over the centuries, our people have kept up their resistance and have obstinately preserved our religion, and it appears that it has even been strengthened in such adversity. The sky is far from being cloudless.